السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this presentation, we talk about the research article of preparation and evaluation of diclofenac sodium neosomal formulation. This presentation will include the aim, introduction, material and method, result, discussion and conclu conclusion. Okay, this is the uh, article published in American Scientific Publisher in 2070 by Syria and Krishna. The main objective of this study is uh, to formulate the diclofenac sodium in neosomal drug delivery. Neosome, which composed of non-ionic surfactant and cholesterol, prepared by two methods, one of them called thin film hydration and the other one is ether injection method. In this study, they prepared eight formulations, four of them prepared by thin film hydration method and the else by ether injection method. And all eight formulations were evaluated for drug content and entrapment efficiency. Neosome as a definition are non-ionic surfactant incorporated with cholesterol. They are vascular system, similar to liposome, ethosome, but it's composed of non-ionic surfactant. Are microscopic with size range between 10 to 1000 nanometer. Also, neosome can be unilaminar or multilaminar, and type of neosome classified according to this structure and size range. Neosome are promising drug carrier as they possess greater stability and treatment efficiency. May act as depot releasing the uh, drug in a controlled manner. They are osmotically active and stable, increase stability of entrapment drug, and uh, enhance skin penetration and improve the therapeutic performance of the uh, drug by protecting the drug from biological environment. The drug used in this study is diclofenac sodium, and we know it's a non-steroidal uh, agent with potent analgesic and moderate anti-inflammatory. The delayed release or extended release tablets of diclofenac sodium that are used for chronic condition like arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis, but on long term, use of diclofenac sodium tablets like in Autoimmune disease may cause a gastric bleeding or a risk of fatal heart attack or stroke. So, to overcome this side effect, here we need to a uh, novel drug delivery system like Neosol. Material used in this study, diclofenac sodium is the drug, cholesterol for increased stability of this vascular system, non-ionic surfactant, and in this study, it was uh, four types of surfactant, span 20 and 80, and between 20 and 80. In addition to other chemical reagents like chloroform, ethanol, diethyl ether, methane, and other chemical reagents. In ether injection method, the non-ionic surfactant was taken with cholesterol and dissolved uh, in uh, diethyl ether, which uh, was mixed previously with methanol and containing weighted quantity of the drug. The resulting solution was slowly injected using micro syringe at rates of 1 ml per minute into 10 ml, 10 ml of uh, hydrating phosphating butter. So the syringe here is containing non-ionic surfactant, cholesterol with diethyl ether, plus drug, and injected to phosphate buffer. The solution was stirred continuously with magnetic stirrer and at temperature between 60 to 65 degrees. After vaporization, the organic solvent, the new is formed. 
The second method is by thin film method. In this method, using round bottom flask and contain non-ionic surfactant and cholesterol dissolved in chloroform and methanol. By shaking this mixture, uh, thin film was formed by rotary evaporation at uh, 50 to 100 round per minute for 50 to 30 minutes. Then, vacuum is applied for uh, one hour at 600 pressure, which lead to uh, formation of dried thin film. In another beaker, a drug was dissolved in 10 ml of uh, 7.4 buffer, which was added to the dry film here, then subjected to rotary evaporation to formation of neosom. Here, the code of eight formulation, the first four bar formed by ether injection method with different type of surfactant, and the second four by uh, uh, thin film hydration method with a constant drug to surfactant ratio. Now we will go to the evaluation of those formulations. At the beginning, by simple optical microscopy, by applied drop of neosomal suspension formed on glass slide and observed under projection microscope. The second parameter is the mean size diameter by nano analyzer. And simply by taking a drop of neosomal sample, mixing with distal water and sonication for one hour, then determine the diameter. By nano analyzer to know the stability of neosomal samples characterization of zeta potential may be useful one of the most important evaluation of preparation is determination of drug content and this is done by one ml of neosomal suspension was mixed with 7.4 buffer solution buffer and sonicated after that, diluted and observed under UV spectroscopy at lambda max of diclofenac sodium, which is the 276. Determination of entrapment efficiency. The prepared neosomal suspension was subjected for centrifugation. Amount of entrapped drug was calculated by subtracting amount of unentrapped from the total drug incorporated. Finally, in vitro diffusion study using France diffusion cell. A dialysis membrane sucked in a buffer solution which acts as a donor compartment and 50 ml of 7.4 buffer act as a receptor compartment. The system keeps at temperature 37 with continuous stirring. Sample were withdrawing at predetermined interval and replaced by fresh medium for a period of time of 12 hours. The amount of drug diffused from formulation at specific time was determined using UV. Result and discussion. As you can see, this image is by optical microscope and clearly spherical and lamellar structure. Vascular diameter, main, main diameter of the best formulation F4 and F7 was shown in a figure in nano size. F4 was 1,769.5. F7 is 786.6. So F7 showed the minimum diameter. The eight formulations were characterized for zeta potential in order to know the stability of the formulation. From the result report of the best formulation F4 and F7 uh, were found to be minus 32 and minus 49.4. So among the two formulations, F7 showed greater stability. 
Comparison of drug contents of neosomal sample prepared by ether injection method F4 was shown highest highest drug content. And in comparison of sample prepared by thin film hydration method, F7 was showing highest drug content. In comparing F4 and F7, uh, F7, which is contained span 80, showing highest drug content of 96.4. Comparison of entrapment efficiency of sample prepared by ether injection method, F4 showed, showing highest entrapment efficiency. The other sample prepared by thin film hydration method F7 showing highest entrapment efficiency, 98%. And also, on comparing the best formulation of the two methods, F4 and F7, you can note F7, which is contained span 80, was highest entrapment efficiency with 98%. In vitro drug diffusion profile. All eight formulations were evaluated for in vitro drug diff diffusion study using France diffusion cell, as we mentioned previously. This figure for ether injection method and uh, on comparing F4 was uh, showing highest drug release profile 96.85% and period over uh, 12 hours. The other figure for sample prepared by thin film and S7 was showing the highest drug release 85.74% on comparison with other sample. From this result, the percentage drug release in formulation by ether injection method F4 was more than thin film hydration method F7 for time period 12 hours. Discussion. In this study, the main aim is to prepare diclofenac sodium by two methods and by using four types of surfactant. Among the eight formulations, F4 and F7 showed the best characteristic. And in comparison between F4 and F7, F7, uh, F7 formula found to be the best formula with minimum vessel diameter good stability, uh, high drug content, trap efficiency, and able to sustain drug release for more than 12 hours. So, in comparing the method, thin film hydration to be better than ether injection method. And in comparing the surfactant, span 80 was found to be better surfactant for preparation of diclofenac sodium neosome. It may be because uh, of uh, decrease in HLB value, uh, lower the HLB value, higher will be the entrapment efficiency and stability. And the HLB value of the uh, span uh, was found 4.3. In addition to that, the length of alkyl chain, uh, alkyl chain uh, increase in uh, the length of alkyl chain have major effect on permeability. Conclusion, diclofenac sodium loaded neosome finally uh, prepared. Uh, previously, work has been done for preparation of diclofenac sodium transferosome, which is type of neosome, using thin film hydration method and using different type of surfactant. The best formulation showed highest entrapment efficiency of 62.2. But in this study, by selecting various surfactants having different HLB value and choosing two different technique method uh, made to improve entrapment efficiency. The highest entrapment efficiency, 98%, was obtained by using span 80 by different by the thin film hydration technique. Thank you, and if you have any question about this presentation, please write your comment. My name is Ala Ghia, PhD student in pharmacy.